This conference will now be recorded. Are you able to see my screen now? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, okay. Now we are just going for practical of ESHI and V Center. Okay, how to install all the stuff and uh, Yes, I told right in the ESHI partitions how we need to check all the stuff we, will, uh, we are going for today. So now first thing we need to install the version because since already I have installed in my machine so I no need to tell you because this is the setup we need to install in your laptop. Okay. Mm -hmm. With the key, once you say you're done, gonna provide me those uh, installers so we can do on mine too. I can do, yeah, okay. Yeah, once the uh, class is over, I just share the through the okay. uh, Google, Google, okay, Docs. Google Drive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll do that, okay. Mm -hmm. So, once it's done, so we need to go to file and new virtual machine. Mm -hmm. There are two types. It will be the one is typical one is customs. Okay, we need to click on custom now Once it's done the version 12 is the latest version, but now it's gone to 13 or 14, 14. because I don't yeah, I think 14. Uh, Yeah, but I don't have that uh, 14 uh, recent version because I just having the 12 so I just going for 12 only so click on Nash in that Set what was the back? Here. Can you go back? What was the uh, memory requirement and uh, uh, limitation? So the, this is a default one for uh, 12. Uh -huh. uh, it is the default. It will be till it will suppose a super GP or RAM is something, it will be there. So, mm -hmm. this is the default version, but it will be diverse for each and every C. Mm -hmm. So, it will be diverse for 10, it will be show different one, 12, it will be show different one. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So once it's done, the installation and disk image, we need to select that ISO. So where you kept in your local desktop, right? So we need mm -hmm. to keep all that one. So go to VMR and ESHI and all files. It will show, sorry. Sorry, here it is. So 6.0 is a thing and click on next and just making as ESHI and browse and we need to keep this file okay in your local desktop. So click on ISO sorry click on lab I just create a own folder for you. And that ESHI I have to keep on that and select that folder. Okay, so all the files it will be stored there only. So click on Nest. It's a default. I told right to go. It will be default one. So it automatically pop up. Nest. It's a 4GB RAM is required for the installing the ESHI. It's already default one 4.0. So it's automatically came up. So Nest. We are just going for a bridge network, not NAT. Okay, NAT is the host and host. If it's connected to the bridge, it will be com communicated with all the machines. It will be very useful. So we'll be keeping always bridge network here. So ISO control type is a SCSI. Logic will be selecting always. We are not going to use for SCSI SAS. Okay. So we'll be detailing uh, this on all. It will be covered in the virtual machine class. So virtual disk type always SCSI will be recommended because we are not using SATA on IDE. So click on next and click a new virtual disk. Okay. And here we just need to select 30 GB. It's required for. So store virtual disk as a single file. So click on next and browse again. And keep that uh, disk into the ESHI. Click on Nest and finish. So just drag and drop here. So you can able to see now. You got it. So now this screen it will be pop up once you 
going to install the ESXi. So this is a memory boot actually. So it will be that it will be starting like a memory boot. Oh, it says it's loaded successfully. So what is we waiting for? No, it's going on. It's not finished. See, this is the thing. So now, if you got uh, one machine, okay, in your office, you just having one hardware. It's a DL uh, 380 or G7 or G8 or whatever the model you having. See, one of the guy is telling to install the ESHI offsets, okay. So you just putting that ISO into that machine uh, in that hardware and trying to install that ESHI sets, but the once you put the CD and uh, make it ready, but the supported document supporting hardware is not suitable for that. So you, before doing anything, you have to go and check that compatibility. So this hardware, what version it will be support. Otherwise, we cannot be able to go yet. You understood, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So the hardware compatibility should be available. So always hardware should be if it's version and it's suitable or not so we cannot able to directly put according to that so mm -hmm. version 6 which are the hardware it will support then you can buy the hardware or you can able to tell that uh, that particular guy it will be support only 5.5 or 5.0 or 5.1 it will support okay mm -hmm. so i have written this uh, link so that i can go ahead Shall I go ahead? Yeah. So this is a F11 is a default license. Every time it will be asked for the o, whenever the OS installation. Mm -hmm. Here we always choose the default one local. Okay, that is as we are given right, the local right. Mm -hmm. So we need to click on enter. You have to select the US default if it's uh, French or something. You have to select different one. Mm -hmm. If it's UK, you have to select the United Kingdom like that. OK, what is the keyboard you want to use it for your company? OK, okay. okay we need to give the password. 
always we are just keeping here india donatory i is the caps so depends upon your thing you can able to select that you are uh, password okay so mm -hmm. once you click you the password just click on enter It does a speed drive Wait, faster. <laughs> no, I think it's uh, taking time. Okay, now it's everything. We need to give F11 to install the yes, that's it. That's it. At dinner? Already, yeah. It's 8 o'clock, 8.30.
yeah successfully now installed okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See shift plus or I told right on mm -hmm. the day recovery mode. Now the screen is only we just have F2 and F2. Nothing is available now. You can able to see right. Mm -hmm. Only F2 and F12. Actually F12 is nothing but if you click on F12. See. Mm -hmm. Only this option will be there. F2 f11 is the restart and escape nothing is available okay mm -hmm. if we go for f2 so now the password which was set right india don't mm -hmm. agree that you mm -hmm. want to reset or something you can go and reset here just click on this here Mm. You can able to type the old password and new password. We can able to set according to your organization. Okay. okay. In configure management network, this is how we need to give the IP address. So network adapter. Once you click the network adapter, we are just having the only one NIC as of now. Okay. That mm -hmm. is VM NIC zero. Nothing else. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you want to give the VLAN, that will be covered in the network part. Okay. So since you're gonna, you you're gonna cover that, right? Sorry. You're gonna, you're gonna cover that later, right? Yeah. Today it will be in a, today is a network part, right? So in that day we just have the VLAN. Okay. Okay. I tell you what is the VLAN and all the details. Why we need to give that one? Okay. So IP4. This is the version we'll be using now. Correct. Mm -hmm. So I just giving the IP address. Okay, now mm -hmm. we don't have the IP version six, so I'm just going to disable it then. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So DNS piece is the primary DNS and alternate if you have the AD or something. So the machine mm -hmm. should be communicated with the AD. Then you have to give the AD uh, mm -hmm. primary DNS and alternate DNS. We mm -hmm. have to give and host name. We have to give here. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now then suffix is nothing but the cts.com or infosys.com or hl.com whatever the company you are working right right now mm -hmm. so same company name dot com is a suffix it mm -hmm. will be useful for them so once everything we have done it 
you have to go and test always okay mm -hmm. let's see okay everything is perfect so click on yes before that you need to pin that ip address if it's uh, working or not because since in the same ip we can be able to give to different ip address correct different machine mm -hmm. once you give yes it automatically uh accept that ip so mm -hmm. that ip should not be reflected with any of the machines okay mm -hmm. only for the ssi so we need to cross check once always in the production environment okay just mm -hmm. uh, cmd and ping that ip address it should be record time or should become that's it okay mm -hmm. so if you click on yes it automatically reboot why means the ip search version has been disabled right so we need mm -hmm. to it will be rebooted now Okay, I just log in again. Mm -hmm. And we need to go to this thing, test management network. So always in a company, it will be very useful mm -hmm. if you give this one. It should be give okay, okay, okay. Or it should not be give failed. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, because we don't have the because it's the local machine, right? So in company mm -hmm. we just have all the things. Okay, resolve lowest name it's okay, but all the things should be okay always. Okay, in your uh, in mm -hmm. your company it should be okay. So then you have to give. So now the shell is there. Okay, what is shell? When you use shell, when you uh, when we use uh, kernel, PowerShell, um, it's a shell. No, 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 no I not, I not talking about the shell, uh, PowerShell. It's a normal shell. Mm -hmm. Command prompt. Normally, prompt? normally the shell will be interact with the user. Okay, mm -hmm. kernel will interact with the hardware. This is how the vice versa. Okay, but because the user cannot be directly interact with the kernel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm. It will be routed through the shell. Okay. Mm. Now the shell is or not. We need to check because Alt F1. If we go because now the shell is not open. It's closed. You cannot be able to do anything. Correct. Okay. So if if you go Alt F2, it will be come back. So how to open the shell now? Go to F2.
troubleshooting option shell is disabled right so we need to click on enable okay this is how it will be entered okay what is ssh we can able to connect through the putty also for that we will be using the ssh correct so that also is disabled so we need to enter that also enable so both the thing is enabled now so again i just going alt f1 click mm -hmm. on this you can able to the shell is open now so how so did you get the shell alt f1 yeah alt f1 again i just going back this is mm -hmm. the screen it will be populated you just okay. click on alt f1 you okay. will be getting this screen okay mm -hmm. so india at 23 is the password which was given so mm -hmm. now we want to check that ocd status right so this running or not is the management network i told correct mm -hmm. so what is the command to check that one so etc okay Mm -hmm. So cd in dot d always in dot d is the service okay dot slash ocd status see now the ocd is running now okay if you want if you want to stop sorry if you want to uh, make it a stop you can able to do the status install status you can make it a stop or something mm -hmm. okay mm. so this is a, you know it don't right now mm. how to go this one mm. okay now cd store is one of the command which was stored already so cd packages ls and cd i told right store what is that store i told already it's a vmr tools correct mm -hmm. it's available see all the tools iso is available in this folder so under packages uh, all the tools are correct. under there correct correct the, i just given one by one by one folder okay so click on store then packages and version then we have our tools mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so now next now scratch i told what is a scratch you didn't know we went through the scratch but i don't know what that is it's a log file i told right the oh, logs yeah. will be mm -hmm. stored correct mm -hmm. i told that ess partition right i just mm -hmm. put that ess partition and showed each and everything correct so mm -hmm. that is all i just telling about all the stuff whatever they think Okay. Now you can able to enter into the log. So how to open the file? Okay, cat ocd mm -hmm. Where it is that file? Just a minute. Yeah, OCD dot log. That is a file. I just want to open and see. See. Mm -hmm. Normally, you cannot able to check this file because it is uh, running. More, more over. Okay. The cat is a command is used to open the file. You mm -hmm. just want to know. You want to see the file. Sorry. Okay. If you want to edit the file, we have to cl click on VI that is a difference cat is the opening the uh, it's uh, what is available in that file so vi is the editing Editor. the file yeah so now it's uh, everything it's completed 
okay mm -hmm. so now so suddenly the, we just got the psod on this particular the ess host the vm are asking for the uh, logs okay that need to be generated so mm -hmm. what is the command used to uh, generate a log is vm hyphen support is one of the okay once you click on this the all the uh, uh, supporting log files kernel everything it will be captured and, and stored it in a repository so, okay so where we need does to, it, where did does it store it will show you okay once it's completed it will give the, that path also where it is stored so you need to go to win scp or some other third party tool you have to connect that ess host from local desktop and then you have to try to copy from that uh, root folder to a local desktop and and then that file need to be copied to the vmr portal For you is Delhi, it's okay at the same time 532 7. Uh, tomorrow? Morning? No, no, I just asking you from Monday to Friday. Instead of Saturday, Sunday, we just go daily by same time, right? 8 pm to 10 pm EST time. Is that fine for you? Uh, this week, yeah. Next week, yeah. That's fine. Next week. So, so at what time you will be reaching home? Eight o'clock um, is fine. Eight o'clock. Okay, because instead of going Saturday and Sunday, we can be able to complete early, right? So yeah. daily basis. You want to do eight to ten daily from Monday? Yeah. Yeah. If it's okay for you, then I can be able to make it. Okay. That'll be done in two weeks, <laughs> then. Mm, because you also it's uh, easy for you right mm. so there mm. is no delay you can able to capture it day by day it will be easy mm. instead of one week that's the thing but your family you have to spend uh, some time it will be difficult
so now it's everything is complete you can see mm-hmm. right below mm-hmm. where mm-hmm. m and in this folder only it will be usable you got it yeah okay so another way i told the putty right so once mm-hmm. you click on this putty what is the ESH password ESH ip address is this 10.210.10.130, right? Mm-hmm. So SSH and click on open. So now it will go into the thing. Actually, it's internet, so it will not be go move it up. Okay. Normally, mm-hmm. you can able to take the putty and give the uh, IP address. It will go, get gone into that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Since it's a dynamic, I cannot able to make it now okay that's a problem you got it right now mm-hmm. so this is how we have to check that so now if you want to have a troubleshooting, okay, ESHCLA is one of the command, okay. Once you click on this, you can able to see all the stuff. What hardware, iSCSI, network, okay, storage, system, whatever you want. So now that VM nick need to be checked. It's running or not, okay. We need to go ESHCLI, nick. Just click on nick, okay sorry network it will uh, it will give the option which mm-hmm. in network you want what you want ip nick port vm v switch or something i just want to nick means you have to select nick so once you nick it will give the option what you want in that down get list or set whatever you want so I just want list. Mm-hmm. It will show that that particular nick is up or not, and how much speed is going. What is the MAC address of that particular nick? Mm-hmm. It will give that option. So if you click on that ESSCLA is one of the command, you can able to troubleshoot all the stuff. Mm-hmm. So whenever you record, right? So in case of uh, in case of emergency, they want to tell that this is the command you have to check, correct? Nick is up or not, what is the storage, where it is located, all the stuff it will be shown. Mm-hmm. You got it? Mm-hmm. So, okay. One more command is there VM hyphen CMD. See, this is another command, it will be as a power CLI. The is a secure one okay if you want that particular ess host okay into the maintenance they will ask in the interview to that graphical we can able to put the maintenance mode, correct mm-hmm. the ess host they ask you have to do it in the command line how to do that one they will ask in the interview okay you have to tell vim iphone cmd slash sorry space slash host svc okay mm-hmm. once you click on that it will show all the things whatever the host related so click on this and slash maintenance underscore mode underscore enter once you click on this the yes is also will be into the maintenance mode okay if you want to exit then you have to go for exit mode that's it these are the small small command it will be useful when you are using the troubleshooting not mm-hmm. daily basis you got it mm-hmm. so note it down so we'll yeah. go to answer yeah Shall we go?
Yeah. Okay. Now we have completed yes, uh, practical part. Okay. So the, just work on this. I just give the ISO to you. Okay. Once I finish the class, mm -hmm. just check and let me know if you face any issues so that we will work on this again. Okay. Okay. So now shall we go for a recent installation or? A... Yeah. So okay for you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we are just creating two more virtual machines. What does that mean? One is AD, one is VC. Okay. Now I just letting browse ISO Windows 2012. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just giving so when you gave a uh, back out. So you gave number of processor too. So how do you know how many processor to give and how do you define how many processor are available? Virtual processor are available. This is the thing, right? Uh, normally, how much uh, is the recommended? Let's say 2000 dollars it's recommended for two or one. OK. Right. So normally it will be very fast. I just giving two actually. Right. So but can... uh, so let's say I have a on my Hyper-V host, right? I have a, a quad core processor or 16 core processor, right? Uh, two yeah. CPU, 16 core processor. Uh, I have a about 30 host, a 30 guest operating system running. Are they? Those are all virtual processor. Virtual processor you're assigning, correct? correct. On those. So, how is there a limit on how many pro you can assign? Yeah, is the limit is available. Once the yes is was is there, you can able to check the H and DRS. It will show that how much is available. The so where is the VM? Where there where is a, 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 that a number of processor? How many available that we can okay. check? Yeah, sure. Once we install the VV center, then only you guys, I can be able to show you. Okay. That's why I'm telling you. Mm. So now I just going for 3 GB. Okay, for installing mm -hmm. the faster. Okay. Yeah. So actually, I just having 32 GB RAM. Okay. Yeah, then it okay. Will... So Windows is loading up, okay. Mm -hmm. It take hardly 15 to 20 minutes. So now it's again I just creating one more machine for the V Center, okay. Mm -hmm.
So minimum is two. Okay, as a V center, right? Minimum is two. How much GB of RAM? Minimum oh. eight GB of RAM is required for the Windows uh, VSP installation, right? Oh. I told right. In six point zero, we required eight GB. Mm -hmm. I just giving nine point nine GB. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just giving 50 GB for the disk. So it take only 15 to 20 minutes time. Mm -hmm. Okay, now only that is one person. Okay. Mm -hmm. So once it's finished, we can start. Okay. Mm -hmm. For you, it's a Windows 2012 or 2016? Uh, 2012. Okay, fine. Okay, it's going to be installed in only 10 to 15 minutes time. Mm -hmm. I just go for break and come back. Okay. 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 Yeah.
Hai Sangita. Oke. Okay. Yo, now mission is ready for the mission, okay? Mm -hmm. So first thing we what need to do, right? So we need mm -hmm. to change the computer name. Mm -hmm. Then we need to give the IP address for this machine. Mm -hmm. uh, for you, it's say you can able to say at least for 45 minutes, right? After the, mm -hmm. So is that yeah, fine for you or what? Yeah, that's fine. You can put anything mm -hmm. can Because for V center installation take early 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. So for this all the configuration take at least 15 minutes. Okay, early okay. one hour it will be there. Mm -hmm. So that's why I just want to check with you. Yeah, that's fine. So same DNS name should be the same because since mm -hmm. it's a AD machine, right? So we need to give mm -hmm. the same IP. So now everything is set. I just going for the reboot. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now again, I just go same thing need to be done for the V center. Mm -hmm. Why you are putting 131 means it's a AD DNS. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The V center is 132. Mm -hmm. So machine is up now. So normally the AD, so we before uh, installing the AD, right? Mm -hmm. So what is a prerequisite? DNS server. Yeah. Okay. Now I just uh, asking for the promote. See promote means the domain controller we need to configure, right? Mm -hmm. Normally we will be put what DC promote, correct? Mm -hmm. So if we put DC promote, what will happen here? Yeah, so now it will not be installed in 2008 uh, we try to do dc promo in 2012 they make it, they made it as server manager in the server manager they have made it as role and features all mm -hmm. the uh, thing it's coming into the year itself there is no shortcut dc promo or something so we have to go role and feature then need to be installed all the stuff whatever mm -hmm. you want okay mm -hmm. and also the first thing we need to give the password this is the main thing because we don't have the given the password right so mm -hmm. without password with the ad domain we cannot able to install 
so before doing anything for installing the ad controller so we need to give the password for that otherwise the pre-check activity it will be failed okay mm -hmm. now again i just signing off i just log in with the user user id and password Now everything is set now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I just going for installing the AD now. Add roles and features. Nest. Mm -hmm. Nest. Nest. Here I need to select Active Directory Domain Controller. Okay. Domain mm -hmm. Service. Once it's done, automatically we choose Nest. Nest. Okay. First, it will be install the Attitude Domain Service. So now everything installed. Okay. Now I just going to promote this machine as a domain. Okay. So now you come on this add a new forest. Okay. So click on next. It will ask for the password. Why it's asking for the password? In case of Active Directory is called corrupt, you want to retrieve the all the Active Directory, right? What are the username and password? Sorry. In that case, you have to give the password so that it will be automatically retrieved from the backup. This is how it will be useful. DSR D directory service restore mode. 
so click on nest the net bias it automatically choose so click on nest so click on this now this is a pre-check it will be there if you're not given the password right it will be failed here so that's why i just told that we need to give the password mm -hmm. see now all the pre-check activity is successful so okay we need to click on install So the domain controller has been installed and it's going for the reboot. Thank you. 
Okay, now mm -hmm. the machine is joined into the domain. How to confirm that one? Just go to this PC and you can able to see the domain name and machine is added to that domain. Okay, now we need to power up the firewall. okay done now here we need to go to again same okay now this machine need to be converted into the domain correct Mm -hmm. Is the requirement to have an AD for VMware? It's not recommended, but uh, always it will be single authentication, right? Single sign on is uh, one of the right, single yeah. authentication. But mm -hmm. this is normally is uh, all the people they will be using the AD in all the environment because the user credential whatever the group policy whatever they want they can able to apply for the ou correct mm -hmm. not for mm -hmm. the single authentication correct mm -hmm. so yeah. that's why we just require it. Okay, this machine also join into the domain now. Okay, it's going to be reboot. In your company is there any AD or you are using the single sign on actually? Uh, I have AD. Okay. Till now it's clear, right? There is no doubt or something, right? No. So now log in with your domain credential. Okay, always. Not with the local admin. Okay. Mm Now, 
we need to install the .NET always because uh, the vSpec client is required the .NET 3.5 always. Okay, in mm -hmm. 6.5 is not required since uh, we're just going with the vSpec client. Okay, it will be easy for you understanding. So, so we that, center. Uh, why didn't you you didn't use the uh, ISO for vCenter? You use Windows 2012 uh, OS. First, we need to go for Windows 2012. Then after that, we need to go for the vCenter installation. Okay. All right. Sometimes there is the ISO with it too, right? You can download vCenter. Um, yeah, correct. The, that is uh, okay. that is different one. Uh, it's uh, okay. open uh, virtualization format. I told you, OVF file. It's already okay. predefined one. That is right. one. Yeah, yeah. So I just going with that uh 2012 copy so now it's done i just mounted it mm -hmm. so the source all the packages is available in the sss correct so normally all the package you can able to see the what are the application packages so go to add role next next can you go back on how did you mount the cd rom okay sure say nothing uh go to v center right click get it settings oh, okay and you can CD do ROM. it okay yeah. you just did it you while it's up you can do that right Correct. Have to sit down. So once it's mounted, it will be going to the this PC, and you can see the D drive. Yeah. And click on, click on open. Mm -hmm. Close. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. This is the file we need to copy here. Okay. Okay. So next, next, next. Next, we need to click on this 3.5 okay. and click on next and we need to go this path alternate source path location. So here we need to copy this thing. Okay, install. That's it. So now .NET 3.5 will be installed.
so now it's installed okay i just going for reboot once more because we have installed right mm -hmm. so so for that we just going for reboot Now I just going to install the V center. Okay. Again I just mounting V center. So go to V center. So it's fine zero. Vim setup is the V center actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I install it? It's not open. <laughs> At the uh, auto open, it will be done. Mm. Yeah, this is the thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we need to go to install. Mm
Sangeeta, I will be back in five minutes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm.
पैसा कितना सॉरी हेलो आया ओके सॉरी ओके दिस इज अ दिस इज अ नेटवर्क दे हैव मेड इट एज ओके स्टिल इट्स गोइंग ऑन सो इट्स क्लिक ऑन ओके इट्स नॉट अ मेजर इशू ओके सो नेक्स्ट वी नीड टू क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट एंड वी नीड टू हैव द लाइसेंस राइट ऑलवेज इट विल बी आस्क फॉर द लाइसेंस वी नीड टू बी एग्री सो नेक्स्ट this is the thing we are just going for you are just using the embedded or external in your office embedded we center server and embedded platform services control so, so both right the both it will be there or because what is happening right the platform service is a one and multiple we center we can add as a platform service controller okay psc no, no it's embedded or embedded or right yeah so each location we just having the uh, vc and the platform service both the thing mm -hmm. correct yeah okay then fine just click on next and uh, windows v center and your domain name is available and next and it will ask for the ip situation we not using it so mm -hmm. click on okay and here in 5.5 we cannot be able to change the domain name as you think okay mm -hmm. if you can change the domain name you can change it as per your standard company like cts.com or uh, infosys.com right. mm -hmm. or whatever you want you can be able to change it but the administrator will not be changed anything okay mm -hmm. so i just keep in the password as india add one two three mm -hmm. and clicking on next and use the local account okay i am not using any specific account here okay next and here we progress is the database is a new database which was available for the vm from the vm mm -hmm. so yeah. previously we will be using the sql express edition now they change into the v progress mm -hmm. is the one yeah so this is a default whatever the default port need to be open is a Mm -hmm. port it will be need to be defaulted so next and if you want to change the location where need to be installed you have to click on here otherwise we can go ahead and install it that's it mm -hmm. so once you click on install it will take only 45 minutes to install you will be going to say or what because it takes <laughs> 45 minutes that's a problem anything after this one or so nothing uh, once it's done then uh, the vc center is ready so if you are okay at uh, morning uh, around 6 to 8 is that fine or what yeah 6 to 8 is fine same time okay yeah. there is no yeah. problem right yeah okay fine fine then we'll catch up but uh, once it's installed right i okay. just make it as recording it to go uh, it will be going on so okay. once is everything is done i just share this link to you so okay you will be catching up at 3:30 uh, again surely okay sure because it take only 45 minutes i don't want to waste your time that's a yeah, thing yeah I, i could be sleeping <laughs> taking nap yeah, yeah yeah correct 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 you are with staying with family right yeah i have i have a family here okay 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 fine 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 that's the thing i don't want to disturb now so go ahead and sleep So mm -hmm. we'll catch up at uh, morning. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. You. Yeah. Bye. You got to understand, right? There is any yeah. claim no, that's or something. No, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It take only for okay. Tomorrow morning we'll catch up. Okay. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Thank you.